the touching academy dodge about go can be complicated if you're just starting out. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you and making you understand how you can use the touching academy dodge and ball. So let's get started. So this is my touching academy, and if you can find the touching academy right here, just come to your windows, click on extension, and click on this beauty touch right here, and it's going to pop up. You can choose to move it anywhere you want, but I just prefer to leave my own right here like this. Now to use the touching academy dodge and ball, all you have to do is click on this dodge and ball calls right here. And it's just going to play the action and you can also do this manually if you want to but it's just an action to make your workflow faster now inside this dodging academy dodge and bone group you can see we have one group right here which is the dodge and bone and inside this group we have the dodge and we have the bone so the point is just a curve adjustment layer which as you can see right here this place right here is put down like this why for the dodge this place right here is taken up just to brighten the image. So that's for the dodge and burn. Why this group right here is called visual aid and it's used if you want to do micro dodge and burn. So that you can easily see where to dodge and where to burn for the image. So I'm not going to delete this visual aid because we don't really need it right now. So I'm going to delete it. And right now we have just our dodge and our burn. So burn simply means to darken, Why dodge means to brighten. If I just invert this layer mask, you are going to see the effect. So if I invert this burn, you're going to see how dark this image is right now because I inverted the um, burn layer. Why, if I invert this dodge layer, you're going to see how bright this image is going to look. So dodge is too bright, while burn is too dark. And to use your dodge and burn, just pick your normal brush tool. So I'm going to be doing contour dodge and burn for this example. And there are different ways which you can do your contour dodge and burn. I'm just going to show you a few methods. I'm just going to dodge the highlights and burn the shadows. So one way you can do it is to pick a normal brush tool and just reduce your flow to 5% and just brush only on the highlight area. Anywhere you see highlight, just paint on it like that on the nose and the cheek, below the jaw, like that. And I'll come to the bone. I'm not going to bone this part right here. Bone this part right here. Bone this part right here. Also bone this part right here like this just a little bit okay now let's see the before and after this is the before and this is the after you can see the difference the before and after and another way you can do this contour the jump ball i'm just going to show you another way so i'm just going to remove everything i just did i'm just going to switch to black brush and just paint over everything i just did to bring the effect back and show you another way which you can do your contour the jump ball so I'll switch to white brush again. This time I'll bring my flow to 100. You know before we use a smaller flow, but this time I'm going to use 100 percent and just reduce my brush size and just draw line on the dodge. So for my dodge, I'm going to draw some white lines on the highlights areas like this. And do the same thing here. I'll do the same thing here like this. Same thing here. Little on the cheek. Why for the bone? I'm just going to do the bone like this and also like this like this so this is how i prefer to do my contour dodge and bow. i think it gives me the best results that's why i prefer using this method uh like this as well so what i'm going to do next i'm just going to come to my feather you can see this feather right here under these properties i'm just going to feather the bone like this until i feel it's looking good i feel it's looking good like this i'll leave it like this first i'll come back to the dodge I'm just going to move the feather of the dodge side again, like this, until I feel it's looking good. So I think 41 looks good for me. I come to my bun. I'm going to move my bun inside a little bit again, like this. So let's see the before and after all we just did. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. So that's two ways which you can use your contour dodge and bun. This dodging academy has a dodge layer and a bun layer. So you can do your dodge separately and your bun separately. Let me show you how you can use that. So let's say you are touching an image and you want to really dodge a particular place. For example, you want to dodge this dark part of the image. All you have to do is just click on your dodge and you're just going to create a group for dodge and just pick your normal brush tool and just quickly and just quickly dodge a particular place which you want to dodge like that. Or let's say you are touching an image and you want to burn a particular place. Just click on this burn right here and pick a normal brush to make sure you forget set to white and just burn any place you want to burn. Let's say I want to burn this place right here. I'm just going to burn this part right here. So that's how you can quickly use the dodge and burn in the touching academy. Let's want to dodge this part back. I can just click on dodge 
and just paint on this part right here and just going to dodge that part so basically it just make your workflow faster and just saves you a lot of time and mind you, you can create your dodge a bone action from scratch in photoshop if you want to learn how to create your own dodge a bone action in photoshop click on this video showing up here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative